welcome back to the 29th training vlog. Got another secondary bench press day for you here. And as you can see, I'm keeping up with the latest trend of adding 10 pounds every week on this. And <clears throat> I was able to do so and hit my usual rep range of 8 to 10 on the flat. And then around 15 plus reps on the board work. So before I go any further into this breakdown, just make sure you check out that link down below in my description. That will bring you over to my Patreon, where you can check out and get access to my raw power building template. At only $5 a month, it's a steal of a deal because it includes unlimited Q&A. That way, if any questions arise, you know you can ask that and I will answer as soon as I can get to it. The program also comes with a substitution section as well as a tip section. And last but not least, a sleep and nutrition tracking section next side to the notes that way you can get more in depth you know everything related to your training is going to be all in one place which is going to make uh, compliance as well as tracking a whole lot easier so once again make sure to check the description down below and click the link to my patreon thank you anyways going back to the workout here after my flat back bench work was done i moved on to the upright row where I hit, you know, another PR. And I'm steadily PRing on everything. If you haven't noticed yet, that's how I roll. I believe in slow and steady progress long term, as it really helps with the confidence and the mindset part. Rather than doing a more aggressive progression where you're gonna inevitably you're gonna hit more plateaus and stalls doing that method, as well as increase your risk for injuries and overuse. So after I finished up that main work, I moved on to my first superset, which consisted of weighted push-ups here. And then after that, I would hop over to the rack and do some band YTWAs. So as you can see, I start off with the Ys, making sure to keep the scapula down and really pull with the mid traps and lower traps. This is a great movement for activating those and I believe doing band YTWAs one to two times a week is really the key to having healthy shoulders. Since I've started doing these, my shoulders feel you know, much less cranky and they move around without the crackling that they used to have when I would move them in certain ways. So when I do the T section, you'll notice that I do the first half of the reps with an underhand grip, then I switch to an overhand grip to get the remain, remainder of the reps. Then I move on to the W's, which is very similar, or pretty much identical to a face pull. So I'll do the bilateral, or two arms at once version, for the first half of the reps. And then for the remainder, I will use a single arm face pull, just so I can get a little bit more range of motion, since the scapula won't be hitting each other, like what occurs when you're doing the two arm face pull. Then last but not least, I upgrade the band tension because I find that the A position is a little stronger, so I can use a heavier band when I'm doing the A work. Ideally, for the best stability benefits that you'll get from these, you want to do a slight pause in the full contraction position on each of those, you know, on the Ys, the Ts, Ws, and As. Um, holding that pause in the contraction position is just a great thing for helping build stability in the shoulder. So next up on the list you'll see here is uh, my next superset, which consisted of band hammer curls to the SSB JM press, and then <clears throat> also the band tricep extension. I couldn't just do a traditional superset where it would be four sets of curls and four sets of SSB JM press because I feel like I got to slowly up the volume on the JM press. That's a movement where if you add volume to it too fast, you're going to end up with uh, cranky elbows. And those band hammer curls are very good. You know, they're easy and quick to set up. They give you a great pump, and they're great for your elbow and elbow tendon health. If you want more information on that, check out my latest TikTok post. On the SSB JM Press here, I did hit a all-time PR with 171 reps, or sorry, 171 pounds for 10 reps. I'd say once I get to 201 pounds for 10 plus reps, I know I'm most likely going to have a bench PR in the tank just because you know, I'm a close grip bencher 
and this has to be the best close grip bench tricep accessory in my opinion especially because with the way the pad lets you have a fixed range of motion and the fact that it lets you pause comfortably in the bottom helps you build a dead dead stop strength in the triceps that really carries over well to the powerlifting style uh, close grip bench press that I do where you have to have a pretty decent pause in order for it to count and since I couldn't do all of my tricep sets with the JM press just due to the stress it would put on my elbows the last two sets of my tricep work for the day I did with the band tricep extension and I'm getting a better stretch in the triceps here um, with the yellow band sometimes it gets hard to fully control the movement but with this orange one I'm able to get a great mind muscle connection so after these you'll see me doing some front pulls which is a calisthenics movement I'm working up to a front lever so technically once I can hold these for more than a couple seconds it will be considered a front lever but at my body weight that's going to be very hard to do so I'm just glad that these front poles are cleaning up if you go back to my first video trying them out you'll see my form is better now I can really feel it in the lats and I'm more able to stay tight from head to toe this is one of the best movements for teaching head to toe tightness and really improving your stability overall just because if you are not <clears throat> you know tight from head to toe and keeping a good posture and able to hold that you're not going to end up in a straight line at that uh, you know the end position if you go back to my first video my hips dip down a little bit just because my lower abs weren't used to this position but now they're getting stronger and they're able to tolerate that and that concludes this training vlog thanks a lot for watching make sure to leave a comment down below hit the like button also the subscribe button and share the video to your family and friends thanks a lot have a great day